changed in the Ice Age, it petrificaron, but what you see here, as in many other mountains is that they have been cut since its surface is flat. They are buckles of trees. And now our scientists call it mountains. Proponents of this theory, say that the reason that there are no longer giant beings or dinosaurs, it is because the trees that provide oxygen and atmosphere so that the greatest beings can breathe disappeared, most of our mountains they are really petrified trees. Of course there are endless theories, but apart from theory, there are several very old writings where he talks about these immense and wonderful ents, so they were told in the ancient world at the beginning of the early ages, but later millions of centuries later in the middle of the 18th era, the text says the prophet Daniel about his visions. And the visions of my mind, which I saw while in my bed, went like this, I saw a tree in the middle of the earth, whose height was very large. The tree grew and became strong, its crown reached the sky, and was visible from the ends of the earth. Its foliage was beautiful and its fruit abundant, and in it there was food for all. Under him the beasts of the field found shade, the birds of the sky dwelt in their branches, and from him all living beings fed. Some ancient astronaut theorists based on certain writings argue that these gigantic trees were shabby and cut by the reptilian god Jehovah, imposed by the reptilian ethnicity to humanity at the time when this planet entered a degraded and sectarian religious proliferation also helped by the inheritance left to the world by the historical dynastic kings of Egypt, and as said millions of them were cut some until their seed and other parts of them said text reads as follows, In the vision I had while resting on my bed, I saw before me a holy messenger who descended from heaven and who shouted at me in a loud voice, Take down the tree and cut it off the branches, tear the leaves and spread the fruits, make the beasts flee their shadow, and let the birds leave their nests. But leave the stump and roots buried, hold them with iron and bronze among the grass of the field. Let it soak in the dew of the sky, and that he lives with animals and among the plants of the earth there is no doubt that the reptilian order was to exterminate them to their seed, and that is what we have left of them today, hills, hills, ect. It is possible to detail with respect to the visions of the prophet Daniel focused on a certain event and in the context, God uses a giant silicon tree from the time before the flood to compare the power of Nebuchadnezzar, and as these trees fell, so Nebuchadnezzar would also fall. It is also important to understand that in ancient texts a literary phenomenon called polysemy is fulfilled, where the same metaphorical passage has several meanings but does not contradict each other. References related to this theme appear in the Avatar film, giant trees were powerful intelligence systems in ancient times. Then we have giant silicon trees, so silicon is a great conductor of energy, these trees engender giant fruits such as the cluster of giant grapes that speak the ancient scenes texts. The fallen or their descendants or Nephilim destroyed these giant trees, because of their mineral compounds so necessary for them, it is as if our world, was a quarry of precious stones that were savagely extracted for the benefit of these entities, in those times there was also a super technology and machinery capable of cutting stones. On the other hand, according to Norse mythology there is Yggdrasil, the tree of life whose roots and branches hold together the different worlds, Asgard, Midgard, Helheim, Niflheim, Muspelheim, Svartalfheim, Alfheim, Vanaheim, and Jotunheim. It is a huge mythical tree that connects the nine worlds in the Scandinavian cosmology, and they also mention a large golden tree called Glaza, it is believed that these trees were the guardians of wisdom and the record keepers of the history of the earth. The old silicon trees contained information, such as the memory of any hard drive. 